Hello, my name is Janet Polk, and I am the bassoon teacher here at the University of New Hampshire. I'm going to play for you the pieces that are in the Weisenborn Practical Method that are on the Allstate list for 2022-23. A couple of thoughts before we begin. Make sure you have the correct edition of the Weisenborn. It's the one with the purple cover to it. Also, I am not going to take any repeats during this, but you can practice both with and without the repeats. The tempos that I'm taking are ones that I think are appropriate for me for today, but your tempos may be different. And the, you know, the right tempo is the one that you can play accurately with good sound and with great musical intent. That is good and that is the right tempo. Also, if you take it slower, you may need a few more breaths than what I am doing. And again, that's perfectly fine. So let's get going. The first one in your book is page 35 and it is the first three lines. Thank you. 
It's number 12, and it's just the first page, although I like to add the first note at the top of the next page, just to have some sense of finality to this piece. A couple things to think about in here, there are lots of dynamics, crescendos, decrescendos, fortes, pianos. But one of the things you may not know about uh, the markings in here, there are two that you should be aware of. One is on the fourth line. It says RFP, which means Reinforzando Piano. And what that just means is that you play the first note with a lot of emphasis. You reinforce that note. And then you come back and you play the rest of the, of the measures until the next one in piano. So you have three of those on the fourth line. The other marking that you may not know about is the word marcato on the fifth line. That means marked or accented. So give it a lot of gusto when you do that, just that little bit right there. The rest of the time, your, your notes should be very smooth. And you'll notice this does have some tenor clef in it, but here's what's cool about this piece is that it's only stepwise all the way through with the tenor clef. So once you get the first note, you can kind of just follow the line.